Hi guys! This might be our last video we're doing for now. Um, today we are gonna teach a little l basing washing machine and also a small standing move. Um, the l basing washing machine especially needs some active back flexibility, so make sure to warm up your backs and shoulders before you attempt this at home. Enjoy! So a good warm-up exercise, back claps. I'm standing with my heels pressing into her hips. She lifts up for one, two, three, four. And on the fifth, we take hands. We come up. Can I go further, Kat? A little bit. A little bit. That's good. Good. Three, four, five seconds. Then I slowly let go and she tries to hold as high as she can. For five, four, three, two, one, and done. A little shake. Then you get to do it again. And remember really to keep your arms straight and close to your ears all the time, so none of this. Mm -hmm. Go. One, two. Eight, four, and five, holding, lifting, lifting, is that good? Yep. Three, two, one, and hold high. Hold, 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 hold. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good, a little shake. So that's pretty much exactly the position you're going to be in, in our little washing machine. So you have to be able to hold yourself up a little with those back muscles. So, studying birds, I need to bring her up over my head a little bit as I bend my knees. The grip is mid-thigh, and as I push up with my feet to get a little bit of arch in her back, I'm really pushing with my knuckles. Let's slide the feet through. Here I'm really pushing in the front of my knuckles. I'm touching her back to signal that she can bring her arms down. I bend my elbows a little bit. I grab underneath the sacrum in a butterfly grip and then keeping my legs straight and strong this is Kat's job to come all the way up I get my heels on first and then I have to shimmy my feet onto the hips so we start in bird and I I'm going to now need to work a lot on my back flexibility. I start already opening my chest. I bring my arms from the side. I cross my fingers, open my shoulders as much as I can. I really shift my weight onto those hands that I feel on my back. I don't take my feet away until I feel like she's balanced on my hands. The feet are the safety. I wait for his cue. I feel it on my back to open my arms. And here I really pull my knees up high so that he can go to my sacrum. I really curl. I can find at the same time, or one by one, his heels. And I put the toes really on to the eye of my elbow. And then I straighten my legs. I can press my shoulders against his shins to get myself quite vertical. And through here, I put my head through. I guide the heels onto my hips, wait for him to shimmy the turns, and then I open my chest again. Possible dangers. So as we're coming 
into this arch with a vulnerable shape, vulnerable balance. If I change my shape, so if I lose this back bend and I start hiking, it comes really fast down to earth. <laughs> and even though I have my hands on her legs, her upper body is in free fall <laughs> and I can't control her upper body. So that's definitely where you should have a spotter. So the chest, not to bang that down. Also, if you're very flexible, especially, you might want to have the other hand spotting behind. Um, so that when the base comes to cue on the back, that the flyer doesn't slip through. Yeah. Uh, in this one, it's always going to be better to hold your arch if something goes wrong. Hold your arch and the base is going to kind of lower you down into a slow fall. Mm -hmm. You don't want to quickly change into a fall. That would probably be the worst thing. I know it's freaky for the flyers because you're looking at the room so you can't really see anything. But trust and hold your shapes. So a bale where a cat holds her shape. Again, this shouldn't happen because I can control with the feet. But if it's falling, well, as long as she's holding, right. <coughs> we can fall really slow. All right, so our standing acro move of the day is something fun for you to do on the beach. I like to call it the ostrich roll. Let's do it. Hey. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, super easy way to do a backflip. Uh, you can just be reading your book at the beach as a flyer or the flipper. I don't really need my hands. Yep, um, I come along and I put the head between the legs, I lift my hands for her to roll back and I'm going to grab her shoulders as soon as possible. And I tuck to bring the weight to his sacrum and then I climb the ground. I don't want to pop her uh, definitely not in the beginning, I just want to stand up, and I want to stand up slightly in front. So, I'm not standing up like this. Mm -hmm. Standing up, just there. And I'm feeling her roll down my back and up, and supporting the shoulders with my hands. He's feeling me roll down, he's not throwing me off. Yeah. Um, as a challenge, you can also do this in a straddle or um, split legs. Yeah, it's heavier. When you're at the base, I don't want you to round your back, ever. I want you to come underneath the legs, a nice neutral spine, and try to shift the weight back on top of your legs. Never try to pull with your back muscles the flyer on top. Really maneuver back onto your feet and then come up. Do we show a straddle version? Yeah, straddle one. The back one. Cool. So that was heavier for the base. Yeah, you can see on the video the weight really pulled me forwards and the weight was really far in front of me. So you can also do split legs. Um, just be mindful that then it's not so dynamic, it's a little bit more like a walkover. So that's for the flyer and for the base. I don't want to stand up super quickly, otherwise you can't really reach the ground with the first foot. It's a little bit slower. You can add a bit more speed at a time, but start off doing it all a little bit slower. Yes. 